Hi everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy Plum Figgy. <laughs> it didn't all come out. <laughs> this is Tammy. Um, <laughs> welcome to December Daily 2021. Um, if you missed my previous video that I put out, what day was that? On Sunday, um, of me kind of preparing my December Daily. Definitely go back and watch that. I'm going to include uh, the playlist for the 20, 2021 December Daily down in the description box of all of the videos. So it'll be easy to find. Um, and so that'll be the very first video in that playlist. Um, so where I thought I would start today is not with the first prompt, but a flip through of what I've got so far for my December Daily. So... Um, the last you saw it was, uh, just the pages <laughs> and you knew I was going to use this cover. Um, but that was it. Um, at the time I didn't have it bound or really finished in any way, shape or form. So, uh, the cover is from a Hallmark Christmas home. It's a, it's called home for the holidays. I don't know how well you can see that. There you go. Home for the holidays. Um, and so I think it was from 2006. I found it at a thrift store. I took all the pages out, used those pages to create other junk journals. There's two of those left at this point in time, um, still in my Etsy shop. So if you're needing a December daily, um, those two are not decorated. So they're naked journals, um, and ready for December daily. So, uh, if you want to still get in on the action, I got a couple of journals available. Uh, but yeah, enough of the plugs. Okay. <laughs> I hear you. Okay. So, um, at the bottom of the, uh, front cover, they had the Hallmark, uh, logo down here. So I went ahead and changed that and covered it with this label. Uh, and then the 2021 is from a uh, happy planner, uh, page that, uh, the happy planner, um, was one that I just never used. So, uh, that's that. And then on the back, there's nothing special. It's just the back cover. Um, it's maybe hard to see the color of this. It's a very kind of mossy, soft, greenish gray, not gray, um, goldish green color. It's a very strange color, but I like it a lot. <laughs> um, and then on the cover or the spine, I took this really gorgeous uh, ribbon that I bought from Joann's just recently. And uh, let me tell you what kind of a problem it was to use that. <laughs> and I still didn't get it centered. Um, but hey, you know what? It's all right. I'm not too worried. Uh, but it's really gorgeous. So it's kind of a um, mauve pink color with rose gold um, accents to it. So really love that. Yeah. I had to glue this thing multiple times. It was not cooperating <laughs> at all. Um, okay. So for any of you who didn't watch the first video, what I did, uh, to put my journal together was I pulled pages out of this Somerset holiday. It's, um, called a Somerset holiday. And this is from 2021 it's from this year. You might still be able to find it if you want to go look for it. Um, I got mine from Barnes and Nobles. I'm sure you could find it in lots of different places. Uh, but yeah, so I pulled out pages that were gorgeous and, um, like this one <laughs> and kind of just used those pages as the main focal point pages in the journal. Um, and then covered the back sides or the writing with different various tea dyed paper. Um, and yeah, just kind of joined them all together. And then there's a few pages like this that are other tea dyed papers. Um, this came from a different, the different Somerset magazine, Somerset studio magazine. Um, and so, yeah. So, and then let me, before I skip past all that, uh, the front and back, uh, inside covers are from the 2019 Daphne's diary had a magazine. And so my thinking is I have that magazine and this Somerset studio magazine, um, handy. And I'm going to try and use pages or images from these 
first before I dip into my um, uh, my supplies. <laughs> My stash, that's the word I wanted. Uh, so, because I think it'll kind of keep it cohesive, plus that 2019 Christmas catalog has been sitting for two years now, not not really gotten used. So I wanna, I wanna use it up as much as I can. So here's, let me just go ahead and do a quick flip through. Uh, it's very unorthodox, but I'm thinking it's gonna be a lot of fun to use. So this one, was a page from the Somerset Studio Magazine. So were these. Um, yeah. Uh, some of these pages I may not keep the way that they are. Uh, I may cover certain things with whatever the prompt is for the day. Uh, but I'm really loving where it's starting from. It's just really fun and eclectic. I just, yeah, I'm really, really liking it. So, yeah, so like pages like this, I may decide to uh, collage over that uh, and not not keep that or part parts of it. I mean, painted presents. I don't know that I. What does that even mean? <laughs> um, it's out of context. So, uh, yeah, I may just collage over it and then just have this nice black chalkboard background instead for my collage. Um, so I guess it'll kind of de depend on how I'm feeling on, at the at the time. This is a long page. This came out of a happy planner. Um, that wasn't that same happy planner that I didn't use. <laughs> so I took pages out of that and tea dyed it and going to use it in, in my um, December daily and other books. So Got another pocket here. So yeah, like pages like this, I mean, I might probably cover part of it with my collage or include it as part of the collage or something for the day. So really, really loving this journal. It's very large. It's not, it's not a small one. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of surface area to cover. So that may become an issue from time to time. We'll see. But I guess I'll just kind of roll with it and see how it goes. Got another big pocket here. Um, these pages kind of were a little bit happy accidents where I matched the colors up. I mean, I did this on purpose, but I didn't really know quite for sure what was going to be on the other side of that page. And in this case, it worked perfectly. <laughs> it's not red and green, at least. Um, and then, yeah, same over here. So, And some of these pages may not get covered up at all, and they may just stay the, the way that they are. I have a lot more pages here than I have days of the month. So um, I like that, too. I like that it's going to be just a really interesting journal to kind of flip through and uh, use. So get another pocket there. So advent calendar. All right, and so this is now at the end. So on the end page, I took uh, the front cover of the Daphne's Diary uh, catalog um, or magazine and um, this is the back side or the front inside front of the magazine and so I just thought it was really sweet and it says I wish you had I wish you a wonderful year I thought it was a nice way to end it and then I just took two pieces of scrap that were left over from me tearing down the height of these pages and turn them into a tuck spot. And so that's where I'm going to put my prompt list and what I'll use for, for every day. So now we're at the prompt list. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do something a little bit different this year, um, where I'm going to kind of mix and match what I, what I use every day. So, um, before I get to that, there is all of these little doohickeys over here. 
Uh, this is Marguerite Miller's, um, basically December Daily uh, collage challenges and prompts. So I thought it would be really kind of fun to kind of mix it up a little bit and do a little bit more collaging assignments so that she's calling them a collage assignment. Um, and so these are going to be very similar to what I've been doing every Monday where she gives you, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five prompts or five things to use in your collage and then a bonus. And so I'm going to probably treat it the same way as the, uh, the collage weekly challenge where if you don't want to use one of the five, you can replace it with the bonus. Um, most of the time I use all of them anyway, but, um, so there's those. And then there's also thrown into the mix. Yeah, I used a piece of paper that I had. I didn't realize I printed on it. Um, these other things like it's not necessarily always a collage. But so this one says red and green are typical Christmas colors. What other color combinations are good Christmas colors? Choose two or three and collage with them. And so or this one is. Do you have a photo of a Christmas past that you cherish? Include it here along with the caption to document the exact moment and the people participating. So this one doesn't necessarily need to be a collage. It could just be the photo and you writing about it. So um, I really like that there's not every day is something where I'm going to have to come up with. I mean, I feel like last year I went... I did a lot of the memories and reminiscing and storytelling, which I will still do, which is where this kind of comes in. But I like the idea of mixing it up so it's not every day is like that, where, you know, I can have a day where I do a collage and I don't have to really think too hard about something um, and just have fun doing the collage. Um, and so the reminiscing and the uh, mixed media types of things will probably more come from this, which is uh, just a list of prompts that I put together. It's not even 31 prompts. It's only 22 prompts. Uh, but I just put this together um, from other December Daily prompts from past years. I know I'm a cool mom. Uh, I pulled some from her. I just went to Pinterest and um, I searched December Daily prompts and um, chose from just various different bloggers and just different people. So um, some of these are, where would you like to travel? What family traditions did you have as a child? What I'm grateful for? Holiday DIY? Festive playlists? Snow? So all the way from very indescript snow to very specific kind or more specific kinds of things. So yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm not obviously not gonna be following in order. Um, I don't tend to do that anyway. It's just not really something I feel like I should have to do. <laughs> I'm a rebel. <laughs> um, so, so I'm not gonna worry about that so much. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what I'm doing. Uh, if you want to, um, get her, prompts. I just got the digital kit version. Um, I believe she also is selling a, a collage book, um, much like her uh, planner. You can buy the actual planner and do that, use that to collage with, or you can do the digital kit version. So that's what I opted to do because I wanted to make my own December daily. Um, but yeah, so I'll be pulling from here every day uh, to do my prompts. So, I'm sure you probably have guessed I've already picked uh, what my first day is going to be. So, I'm going to do this collage assignment. I'll hold it up here so you can see it. So, our prompts are holiday lights, a gift tag, sheet music, a flower or plant, a sequence of numbers, sorry, and then bonus, uh, textured paper. I forgot to grab the textured paper. I will have to do that. Uh, so that's my prompt list that I'm going to be working from. I'm going to put that up here. Now let me find a page. I'm also not going to go in the order <laughs> of my journal. Um, I will be dating every page. Oh, by the way, I was going to show you this. So I just picked up a new stamp, date stamp. Um, the one that I had, 
uh, ran out. 2021 was the last year. So I just realized, I wonder if this, how many years this goes to. Let's see, I think it starts on 2021. Yeah, it does. Okay, so good deal. <laughs> I just saw this 2018. I thought, uh oh. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, I got this from Office Depot. It's a six year date stamp. I like, I actually don't mind the font. Um, and I like that it's in this format August, the month, the, the day, and then the year. This is the way that we do it in America. It's what I'm used to. I don't mind the other way. Um, it's just I've been using the other stamp, the other version of it um, for a while. And so I thought, well, let's mix it up. The what other really nice thing about this is it was less than $6. So um, if I use it for six years, it will cost me a little less than a dollar a year. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so that's where I picked this up from. And it's not cute or anything, but hey, it'll do the job. <laughs> So, so there's that. So I'll be using that every day too. Okay. So let's go ahead and find a page to start with. Um, I'm going to need kind of a big page, I think. A big open page. I'm going to blow my nose. I'm going to sniffle all this whole time otherwise. Okay, excuse me. but Sorry about that. I've just been dealing with allergies like crazy lately. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Yes. Like crazy. Okay. So I like this big page, but I think I might keep this for another prompt. We may use this on another kind of a thing. Why don't I show you what I'm working with so that you can kind of understand what I, why I'm looking for a large page. Um, okay. So for holiday lights, I pulled out, where did it go? Um, this from a magazine. It's from December, January, 2020 country magazine dot country magazine. Um, my aunt and uncle or my mom, I don't remember gifted me, uh, this magazine and I've kind of been using photos from it, but I just really like the, the scene here. We've got a lot of really pretty holiday lights. I prefer all white. Um, I'm not big on the multicolor. I mean, I like them, but I prefer all white. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I love that. Uh, okay. So then the next thing is a gift tag. Uh, so this one came from the Daphne's diary. Uh, so we've got a whole page of them here and I just really, I thought they would kind of work okay together. So I thought I would go for that. Um, let's see, sheet music. Uh, this is some Christmas music that I'll, I'll just find one that, um, I like out of here. I think I saw one that I, well, no, the Three Kings is different than We Three Kings. Here, this is the one. Good Christian men rejoice. I love that. It's been my very favorite, oops, uh, very favorite Christmas carols. So definitely want to use that. Okay, and then a flower or plant. Um, again, I was trying to use the Daphne's diary, um, and so we already kind of have. A flower or plant with the Christmas trees on the on the gift tags but um, I'm gonna try and use this so I'm gonna fussy cut that out and try and use that on the page somehow and then a sequence of numbers um, I have sorry hair in my mouth <laughs> I can't get it out okay there so I have these labels there's um, some that have just kind of numbers on them and then bonus, a textured paper. So hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, well, I'm not quite sure how textured it is. I guess it is textured. But this is some handmade paper that I've kind of been using here and there, um, as you can see. So we've got some nice pastel colors in here. Um, green. 
This isn't handmade, but it is textured. Oh, I didn't know that those were in there. That's pretty. Okay. So we'll pull something from this little stack to use that will work with the color scheme that we've got. Okay, so I think we've got a plan. Now I just need to find a page and do it, right? Okay, let me put this stuff out of the way. So now you can see kind of why I was thinking I needed a bigger page because I want to get kind of as much of this scene on it as I can get. Okay. I like the idea of this page, but not next to that. Um, maybe should we go with this? Yeah. Should we? Okay, I'm going to keep my thumb here. Might go with that page. Oh, no, nope, I like this page better. Let's go with this page. Okay, so. Um, let me get rid of some of the bottom of this. Let's see how well it will fit. Okay, I don't really want to include this part of the top of it, so. Oh! Oh, there's holiday lights on the back, too. There's <laughs> a lot of color. Yeah, I'm not into that as much, but I'll keep this. I might use that somewhere. <laughs> Oh, I also forgot to mention, I do have kind of a kit of sorts um, started. So I've got a bunch of Christmas ephemera or just general ephemera in here. The extra bits and pieces of paper that uh, were left over from me disassembling the pages and some stamps and yeah. So I'll be pulling from here um, as well. To use things from every day so hopefully I can keep things a little bit contained that way <laughs> all right so we've got that now let's see I'm trying to decide if I should keep it to one page or branch out um, no pun intended <laughs> <laughs> really I was <laughs> I didn't um, okay so let's see I think I like the idea of having this kind of above it so let me get rid of some of the height on here and some of the width I'll mark that with my pencil. Let me go ahead and use my... This will be a little bit easier. <laughs> Hopefully my paper trimmer doesn't eat the paper. I can do that sometimes with old paper. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and I don't think I even know this. And this came up in, what else did I do recently that had this on it? And I said, I didn't know that one. Um, I may, I might know it if I heard it. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I don't think familiar with that one. Okay, I'm going to glue this down. Kind of straight. <laughs> Not completely, but it'll be okay. All right, now I'm going to, I think, position this kind of like that. 
Um, I also need to cut this out really quick. So I'll do that. Okay, so we've got a branch. <laughs> it's kind of strangely over top the other branch. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. Um, I may go find a different flower. Yeah, it's not my favorite. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, okay, I'm going to go look for something else. Okay, so I gave up on trying to find a picture or image from Daphne's diary. Um, I picked these up somewhat recently from Hobby Lobby, and I haven't used any yet. And I'm wondering if one or some of them would work. Um... The thing is, these are kind of spring looking. These are really cool though. <laughs> okay, so I like. I like this idea here where we could kind of incorporate up in the corner. Um, this. Sorry, I'm getting very quiet all of a sudden. Okay, um, and then I think I kind of just like those like that. So then um, how could we, okay, what are my prompts? So we've got holiday lights. We've got a gift tag, sheet music, that, that, a flower plant, sequence of numbers, bonus textured paper. Okay. I also pulled these out because I thought they're kind of maybe winter colors, but that's probably the only one that even would go. You know, I'm kind of curious to see what it would look like. Let's see. It's kind of cool. I like it. And it could tie in the watercolor feel for our Christmas tag. However I do that. Okay, so I need to glue down my um, magazine page here. Yes. Okay. Now... Before I put anything else down, I'm wondering if I shouldn't try and use my textured paper as kind of a background for um, this little thing that I'm going to have going on over here. So let's find one that would kind of work well color-wise. This is an interesting... This one's interesting... Okay, I'm going to take some of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, and then we'll have this guy kind of, yeah, I think that'll help a lot sitting on top in a way <laughs> okay well let me glue this down here
And then let's see, what kind of glue should I use on this? I think I'm gonna go with the art glitter glue. This is kind of a weird like fabric-y kind of material. I can't, it's hard to describe. It's extremely thin. I'm just going to glue it where it is, <laughs> and that'll be where it's going to live. <laughs> okay, now let me see. Yeah, I'm going to just... Glue that down, and then on top of that, let's put our flower. And somehow, somehow I'll put my flower. <laughs> We will determine that when it's time. <laughs> okay. How about like that? Make sure I don't glue these pages together. <laughs> I'm just going to hold my hand down on it for just a minute. Now, I've got the rest of this. I don't really want it all to be <laughs> Okay. So let's find a Christmas tree tag to use. Is it bad that I like the background on there? <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to use this. Kind of haven't given myself very many options here. <laughs> um, let's see. So I think on the back of this tag, I'd like to um, put my collage assignments. Um, so let me clean up this just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I kind of, I really like the, um, I like the background on that. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then let's put this on here. Like Sue. And then, how shall we attach it? I feel like it should come over here somewhere.
So I need to put my label on here. Something with a sequence of numbers. Let's see. Well, this definitely does, but it says April, so that's not going to work. Um, I think there was one that was like one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Oh, you know what? I just had an idea. I could turn this into a little belly band. Cute. I don't know where to put it, guys. <laughs> I really don't. Because nothing really looks right. <laughs> okay. Well, um, this is just not quite wide enough. So I'm going to have to put this onto some other paper and then glue that down. So maybe I'll use some more of this. Okay, so if we have this, could it be a little tuck spot here on the other side? I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's, yeah, that's just what I'm going to do. Okay, and I'll just tuck that down in there. And now, let me pull that out for a minute. So it doesn't dry on there. Now I just need to do my date. So we've got December. Okay. Put that here. Yep. I like it. And then we have our little uh, Christmas tree tucked into there. That's cute, actually. So there we go for our first <laughs> first collage of the December daily. Um, not my best, not not my favorite, but hey, I don't mind it. I think it's kind of different and unique. It's definitely, yeah, it's definitely different. So, all right, guys. Well, there we go. I uh, hope you guys had fun and. Um, are joining in and doing your own December daily because they're fun. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.